five. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting fight tonight. Indeed, Let's indeed. See. The rematch. So again, yeah, we're not gonna teach rules. Um, I think the only thing that maybe is worth mentioning on Chris's ship. We'll, we'll we'll review the ships before we play, but uh, your your torpedo is going to be very interesting because uh, there aren't too many parts like it in the game. Mm-hmm. And your stealth drive has got some quirks as well, which is neat. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's uh, let's determine first player here. All right. Beat a seven. Oh yeah. yeah. It's going to be um, your choice. I'm going to make you go first because you have more ships. Okay. Gives me something to shoot at. I can't at. possibly go badly for you. Mm-hmm. Place a terrain tile. Let's get the biggest ice cloud there is. Uh, and we're going to put it. <laughs> Kind of like that. Very scary. And we'll, of course, decide uh, deployment edges after we place all the terrain. Yep. Yeah, that's but cool. Place yours. All righty. Let me uh, pull up my terrain. All right. So you're giving me a nice ice cloud, eh? That's handy. I like that. I too would like a nice cloud. And I'll take the uh, lima bean one. Oops, let me pick that up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like that maybe. Plenty of space. I'm going to do a debris field down here. Mm. Uh, yep, that's good. All righty. I'm going to do, do the debris field there, right? Oh. I'm going to do a left. Debris cloud. There's a little one. It's going to take that. It's not bad. Oops, shift click. Okay. There we go. And what is there room for? Only <laughs> small ones left. Well, we could yeah. assume we're both playing with a starter set. We could use another tile. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go for a second ice cloud. Double up that guy. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. Is... Let me just see if it fits up here. Mm-hmm. Two uh, ice cloud. So. You have to shuffle. No, it I don't think it, I don't think it fits there. No. Uh... Fits there though. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. All right. No uh, asteroids and no grav rifts in today's game. This is going to be interesting. Very. You potentially can cool down three whole heat in one turn if you go fast enough. <laughs> go fast. <laughs> yeah, gotta that's, go fast. Uh, that's an inter- <laughs> it's going to be an interesting potential. Okay. Uh, which side do you want to deploy from? Um, so that I get to deploy opposite to you. Right. I won the uh, dice. It's a pretty symmetrical too. battlefield, so. Yeah, I'm still going to choose uh, to deploy on the right side, I believe. Okay. Plop. And I will deploy left and go first. Plop my guys down there. You can see on the strain, but I'll take them off for the first round. Yep. All right, so let's, uh, Scott, you want to bring up the, Scott, by the way, for the audience's sake, Scott is uh, running all of the uh, paneling and everything for us on stream. Thanks, Scott. You want to bring up mm-hmm. our squads here so we can talk about our stuff? Yeah. All right, so my thing, we got 
And I've got some custom builds, actually, to show you, too. We have a Saber <laughs> Fast Recon with Saber Cockpit for rerolls. Mass Driver Shotgun for <laughs> Big Pain Up Close, which we saw last time. Uh, Chris had this on a Falks when he and I played last week. Okay. We then have, taking maximum advantage of the chassis ability, uh, we've opted for lots of things with long movement, both the afterburner and the XJ7 wings, uh, because Falks Fast Recon, every time you do a long move, you get to rotate one afterwards. So the Falks Afterburner top row is functionally move long, rotate twice, move short. And the bottom one is move long, rotate, move long, rotate, which is pretty sweet. And the wings, similarly, is move long at an angle, then rotate one and evade. So he's, he could potentially do four long movements in a single turn. He's very, very fast if he really commits to it. And that's actually only six power, or sorry, four power and two heat to pull that off. Wow. So he might be taking advantage of all these stacked up ice clouds. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, my other two ships... Um, I'm running two different lances. Well, actually, two copies of the same lance. And I've labeled them Alpha and Beta for convenience here. Uh, but this is basically a missile sniper ship. Uh, we'll see when we review Chris's list if this was a wise choice for this match. I think I may have gone a little too lopsided. Uh, a little bit too <laughs> specialist. We'll find out. So we've got Falk's Cockpit. Uh, Chris will get no bonus to hit for flank or rear. Only the rear damage bonus. Um, and then I've got burst drive and wings, so I have access to cheap evasion with the bottom boxes. Uh, and then I've got the missile pod, which we've seen in plenty of games, the light missile with the 180 arc, uh, range 2 to 3. But it's actually a range 2 to 4 because I brought the LSI. So I can lock uh, attacks and missiles at range plus 1. As long as they're range 2 or more inherently. Can't get a range 2 shotgun, sadly. <laughs> but that's my list. Uh, Chris, what am I what am I attempting to obliterate with missile snipers today? <laughs> and I say attempting because I've already seen one of these two machines. All right, so uh, we haven't uh, talked about or talked to each other in advance. I didn't know Josh was bringing all these missile boats, but if you're flying complex, you can uh, assume you're going to be facing down some missiles. So the uh, one uh, card that I have, my chassis ability here for the first wasp, I've got two wasps, so we're playing a 10-point game. My uh, first wasp gets a uh, minus one to hit on anything in the front bullseye. Uh, with that, he's rocking the wasp cockpit, which is effectively the exact same thing. So if I power that up, it's minus two to hit. That's what that little uh, green kind of target designator uh, symbol means. The passive for the wasp cockpit is also really important here because it is our, uh, yeah, there's this like symbol. It is our, uh, this guy's going to be the anti-missile boatman. So he's got a passive when performing anti-missile, you may reroll one and that's no power. So that's a pretty good utility. Next up, he can go pretty good in a straight line and he can at least turn around. So that's helpful. He comes with some vector wings for a uh, little bit of heat clearing. And uh, wasp wings, uh, so you can shuffle, you know, the old crab shuffle left and right. He comes with a ball turret, which if you uh, ask me, is probably the number one anti-missile gun, or at least one of them, because it gets that minus one on the uh, anti-missile attack. And again, because he'll be Mr. Anti-missile with the uh, passive on his thing, it'll be minus one and a one reroll for the anti-missile stuff. He's also yeah. rocking the rail gun, uh, which can... In do anti-missile just as well as the ball turret, but I'm hoping to be using it to actually do some damage. It's uh, got at three ranges, and it's got the bullseye uh, firing arc, which means anytime I fire the railgun, I'll be getting my passive on it, which is pretty handy. That uh, minus one to hit. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got the uh, small exhaust, which is uh, well intact, vent one additional heat. So this is going to help us cool down the railgun, cool down the thruster or the cockpit, or, and the real reason it's on this whole boat, because like I said, he's Mr. Anti-Missile, is to let me fire the ball turret for two blue every turn. And I don't have to worry about venting that. I don't have to worry about the extra heat. Everything's hunky-dory. We'll always be anti-missiling. Finally, we got... All right. Finally, we got the uh, bulkhead. And then over to the uh, Deep Recon. He's very similar uh, list, with the main exception being the Stealth Drive. And the... Uh, important thing about the stealth drive is whenever you assign power equal to my size, I cannot be targeted at range two or further. 
So for four power, he can't be targeted at all by those uh, nasty alpha and beta hive missile uh, lances. And the only gun they have is that missile pod. So we're really hoping that the uh, deep recon can uh, sit in cover, uh, activate stealth mode. That's why he's Ramu. So he's uh, it's gonna whatever cloak away and then pop out to pop the uh, Gatling gun, his uh, range one shot for six. And then if I don't have a Gatling gun shot because I don't want to engage with them in close range, then I'll still have the uh, anti-ship torpedo. And I've got the immediate exhaust and the power cycle on this guy to help out uh, with all this power he's going to be using, powering the stealth drive. <laughs> and uh, sorry, his passive is that he gets plus one evasion. So I was trying to set up all these ice clouds because really everything is plus one evasion for, for him. And you would rather get ice clouds. Every, every time he enters a terrain tile, plus one evade. Exactly. Got He's got to recon them. He's got to see what's there. Going to be very nimble while doing it. And he's going to be stealthed and reconned while doing it. <laughs> yeah. So right off the bat, I can tell that like if it, if I lose the fast recon early, I'm in trouble. Because the Lancers mm -hmm. will have to resort to ramming the Wasp if it goes cloaked. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it'll go cloaked. Yep. All right. So let me go first. Uh, I'm going to do... Let's park a lance up in here. He's going to deploy here. Uh, this is beta. We're going to do the chassis move. And these are lances that can double their chassis moves. I see no reason to do that right now. <laughs> uh, we're just going to rock up, take an evade for the wings, and call it a day for the first move. Not very exciting. Oh, not exciting at all. Gonna, that doesn't uh, need to be. Uh, maybe. We're going to plop down Ramu. And we're going to do a bit of a rotate here. Like that, I think. And then it's going to have to be a little bit further up. Come on, buddy. All right, there we go. Um. We're going to put them down. We got one rotate and one long move. Do the long move now. Go to there. Check mm -hmm. range. Do, 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 do. Not quite range three. So we can't fire. Are you trying every... to get a torpedo? Opening torpedo? Well, well yeah. Can you blame me? <laughs> no. Uh, so now we're going to do something interesting. And we're going to... Put four on the stealth drive to go stealth mode. Because that's the size of my ship. Then we're going to do mm -hmm. two on the locust wing to do a wing roll. And I think we probably want to go to three, but I don't know if that'll be close enough. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, let's try. Oops, let's try, go to three. Uh, now we'll check range, or sorry, we touch the uh, cloud, so we get to vent one immediately. I'll vent one off of the locust wing. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna check range. Oh, perfect, you're in range three, so happy. Torpedo for me, I'll fetch torpedo it. Torpedo inbound, yes, if you could get me a torpedo, that would be great. The torpedo is going to take three heat for that, and you might say, oh, no, uh, three heat, this is bad. But it gets worse because I think we're going to also, um, actually, maybe we're, maybe we're OK with that. Oh, I could shuffle back more fully allocated. No, that's OK. We're going to call that the term. Oops. And he uh, touched that ice cloud, just plus one evasion. Woohoo! Right, yep, for his chassis ability. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll spend one to do the medium exhaust. Never forget to medium exhaust. <laughs> no time like the present. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. what are you stealthed up? He's stealthed up, so you can't attack him unless you're at range one, and that's range one. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. Hmm. 
Well, I think it's time for the big fast recon to come in. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, I don't want to do this. I think he's actually going to come in way over here. Wow. So let's do chassis move. And you can rotate after doing that. So do that. I'm going to pay two power, two heat mm -hmm. for the thruster. So this is going to be long rotate, long rotate. All right. Gonna take that basically. Park like that. Ah. Uh, it's range one, but I don't get flank yeah. yet. Do I want to nope. get flank? No. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, let's do it. So I got to, in clipping the cloud at the beginning of this uh, chain here, I'm going to get back a remove a heat from my ship. Okay. Let's do the wing roll over here with the XJ7 wing. Oop, get a rotate one. afterward. Oh, no. Get an evade. Oh. But I think I've actually flown right over the cloud. Yep, I've flown around the debris Looks field. Like I'm going to get the bonus Oof. for hitting it. Oh well, oh, gosh. that's fine. Okay, two plus a heat on the mass driver shotgun. We're gonna shoot this guy a whole bunch from flank. Oh, so three times. Got... But crits yep. could be very dangerous. Crits could be <laughs> very dangerous. <clears throat> so this weapon, the mass driver shotgun, converts eights to crits. Uh, I otherwise hit you on uh, two plus of eight, so six minus one for flank fives. Fives to hit, mm -hmm. eights or crits to crit. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh no. That's all right. I only have one thing with heat, so that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to take out the medium exhaust and the power cycle. Well, that's a shock. My whole uh, neither... uh, fancy utility. <laughs> yeah, now you're just a big scarab. <laughs> Uh, oh, and in addition, you're, of course, going to take uh, four damage for that, for the actual attacks. Yeah. That's fine. So, hold to 12. Well, if the cost was all of the fancy utility that I brought to the fight to show off and look cool, but the uh, reward was a splattered fast recon, I think it's worth it. We'll find out. I'll take that trade. Oh, we're finding out this, right this now. Is... Part of why I up-armored him. It's your turn. Yeah, okay, so he's got one bulkhead. But that's one bulkhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming in up north. We're rotating. Yeah, this, this is the silly yeah. thing. I will get shot in the rear here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but what location do we want to do? I think probably just like that, because then we can move without touching, and you don't get any bonuses. And we're off to the races. So yeah, let's plop that down there. Then let's move. Long move. Hello. Uh, so let's check your range. I'm not quite in rear because I have a tiny nope. bit of my uh, of my model is hanging out, but that's okay. I mean, you that can wing roll to get it if you fine. want. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to see what I want to do first. So I think first off, we're going to do target designator and put a heat on that. So I lose an evasion? Yep. You lose an evasion, you're right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to do two on the wing roll although that might not be the right one i think i gotta do that one unfortunately. <laughs> yeah this is why you brought wasp one wing right yeah exactly uh so we're gonna do a bit of a free rotate here so we can get nice and just perfectly lined up and then we're gonna do a move short and just wow 
right into position here. Mm -hmm. Still have a sliver of my ship in bullseye. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and you're fully and, within rear. Yeah, and I'm fully within rear, so I'll do some bonus damage here, which is great. And uh, and let's shoot the royal gun to start. So that's one, two, and two heat. The pieces. And that's three dice. And uh, my passive is minus one because you're in bullseye. My cockpit is minus one because you're in bullseye. I'm in flank, so that's minus one. What's your uh, evade? You're hitting on ones. Anything but anything right. but blanks. All right. Here they come. First one, blam. Second one, kablam. Third one, kablam. Six damage. Seven damage because I'm in rear. That's true. All right. So... Oh yeah, here. Well, I'll, I'll put it more straight mm -hmm. next time. Uh, all right. We still got shooting to go. We're gonna do the ball turret as well. All in. So the ball turret is also three dice. One, two, mm -hmm. three. And that's also uh, ones to hit, right? Uh, you're still yeah. target Looks designated and you're still ball bullseye yep. shot. So there, there, there. Two more hits on the turret. Two more uh, three. Ones are a hit as well, aren't they? Same accuracy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. It's two plus. Huge. And then um, I still get plus one damage on that ball turret. Sorry, it should be hit on two plus. Because your weapon is two plus my evade of two. Minus rear minus thing. Minus rear the minus one... thing minus passive. Right? Oh, I'm not shooting with the... Like, closest to closest point isn't in my bullseye, so I don't get the passive from my fighter. No, you do. But oh, rear is only minus down. one to hit, not minus two. Right. So it's and minus already... two total against four hit on twos. And you've already ticked down the evade of this guy from the cockpit. I did. Yeah. Yes. Because you wing rolled. That's how you got the bonus. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that's so fine. I will still take two hit. more. And then do and you rear. still take the bonus damage? Yes. I do. Every so attack. Three on, three on that damage. And then we got seven on the other. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Five power and two heat for ten damage. That's a lot. And he's still mint, which is nice. But now he's activated. <laughs> okay. So let's mm -hmm. bring in... Missile Sniper here. <laughs> I think these guys aren't going to be up to the job somehow. I think they're going to... They're not going to cut I don't know. It. You, you managed to get crits and knocked him. It's a bit of a toss-up. Yep. I was feeling good before, I, uh, before the dice started rolling. <laughs> uh, I can, so this is range four to either ship. Uh, range three to one, range four to the other. Not mm -hmm. thinking I really need that scope. Would have been better off with guns as backup. But we'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, let's do... Mm -hmm. Yeah... Let's just dump missiles. He's going to come come in over there. That's his chassis action. And he's just going to do one power, three heat. And I'll give him an evade for fun. You can have four missiles. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Okay. He's done. All right, so that's everybody then. Yep, new round. Uh, I'm new first player. Indeed, you go first. Oh. He moved. That's his short move. Sorry, Scott is asking me why I didn't deploy the ship properly. I did. It deployed against the edge and then it moved. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, top of the order. Hmm. I think we'd really like... For that guy. No, I think we should move fast recon or he's going to get demolished. Even more demolished than he already has been. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So let's start by venting. 
all of his mass driver cubes. That's three. Plus two more for his other stuff. I'll use I'll take them from the wings. We're gonna do this. Rotate, move, oh. rotate to get around over there. <laughs> oh. And then where is your your arc? I am in rear. Okay, well that that makes it easy. Uh, are you fully in rear? I am. Hooey. Hooey. Oh no, I've got everybody open up there really so. I'm gonna need to <laughs> rotate once with the maneuvering fins. Uh-huh. And let's see if we can chew this guy up even a little bit more. Mm. Let's put those back. All right. Three dice on this guy. And I got the, the uh, bonus damage now for rear. So this is... Uh, You're shooting four plus eight. two. Yeah, I'm shooting on sixes, but minus one for rear, so fives. Fives to hit, yeah. eights or crits eight to crit. crit. Oh, thank God. Only one. Uh, well, hang on. I left two power this time for the Saber cockpit so I can re-roll two dice. Oh. Triple crit. Triple crit. <laughs> what a rip-off. Who <laughs> made this game anyway? Yep. All right. Well, Top gun is silly. Uh, take let's take the torpedo the, uh, for a bonus a hit. Oops. Uh, let's take the stealth drive. Okay. We can have the cubes back. Uh -huh. And I'll take the Gatling gun too. Wow. See, so this this mission systematically would have been a total dismantled. Cakewalk. It would have been a total cakewalk, except that you did that, which is just utterly cheap. This is cheap well, exactly what the build is built to do. Unfair. Cheap uh -huh. and unfair. All right. What's his hull at now? That wasn't even that much damage, though. It was only six, right? So he still has six left. Uh, he does six for the weapon, no, has... one for the heat on the torpedo the is heat. seven, and one for rear is eight. Indeed. Ouch. And he still has four of eight, and he had the stealth drive powered up. So it's not like he was really doing a bad job. Oh, no. well. That's fine. All right, that's Fast Recon doing his job. It is yep. your turn. It is. That it is. Paracador09 says in the chat, it's a bummer because I was excited to see the stealth drive in action. I know. Uh, I, I mean, you too. did see the stealth drive in action. I didn't put any missiles on that ship, which is the ship I would have preferred to put missiles on. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, that, that was just cheap. He knows, he can tell. Uh, we'll rotate one long, or we'll rotate one right of that way, and then we'll move long. I'm going to activate this guy, because I don't think he's long for the world <laughs> otherwise. Yep. Uh, sorry, I should do things in order here. Vent. Set evasion. Then I did my rotate. Now I'll do my movement. Moves one long. Dips into the ice cloud. That's handy. And then we will spend one more on the locust cockpit. Like, oops, that. Then we will spend two on the wings. Like that. And we're not actually crashed quite yet. <laughs> Just very, very close. Just very close. Uh... And so that's my rotate there. And then I could try, I don't know. I think I'll overlap you if I do the long. I don't think I'll skip past you. No, but I might. Oh, uh, well, the angle's weird, so. That's what I mean. The angle's weird. I'm not quite sure, and I haven't laid down the uh, template yet. But I also don't have anything else to do, so. Might well, as well prepared. fire up the stealth drive. Might as well fire up the stealth drive. Flip that over. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do two on the locust wing and go for gold here. Put down my ruler. De definitely overflying me. Definitely overflying you. But we could fly into the ice cloud for a little cool down. That could be helpful. Mm -hmm. Because you can go left or right when he's already being blown to smithereens. 
And the hive missiles are two to three. Mm. Yeah, we'll dip into the cloud, and then we'll get well, a little extra cooling. Two to four on these ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm not gonna hide him. Out hide him. <laughs> That's for sure. No. Yeah, the, well, the, the interesting side. part about missiles is you actually don't care which way you face either because uh, you don't have to worry about them hitting you from behind. True. Uh, you dip have this into weird, the ice like... cloud there, and I get plus one evade for touching the uh, ice cloud there, and that's him, Mark, activated, facing the wrong direction. All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to do alpha again, so... Mm -hmm. Let's do his chassis... This is going to do a short, well, after I vent, four cubes. Uh, which will be one power and three heat from the missile pod. And then I think really he's just going to... He's front 180 arc and still at range four, so he's going to give Punchy uh, more missiles, I think. Can't get, no. can't get Ramu. Can't give Ramu missiles. Phew. Got to go after oh, Punchy. This, this guy can't, the other guy can. <clears throat> Poor Ramu. Yeah, Ramu now has eight light missiles chasing him. Now Punchy has chat, eight light missiles. Uh, Hypocritical hiding. one hit says Macross missile massacre time. Um, yeah, that yeah, is what yeah. these little lances do. We we've got a ball turret. We we trust the ball turret. <laughs> yep. And, and we have the wasp. Otherwise. Pod. Otherwise, that guy's done. He's a very not interesting turn. This is probably not a very efficient build either because he's uh, left with power he's not using every turn. Mm -hmm. He's fully maximizing his vents but not maximizing his power use. That's okay. You're making up for it in, uh, in luck. We'll see. We'll rotate there. I think you're still in the uh, thing, but we'll find out in a minute. Move along. Yeah, you, you'll still be able to shoot me again. But you don't get rear this time, uh, at least. I don't, but I will get flank. Yeah. So that's helpful. Um, anyways, I'm doing everything in the wrong order again. I was too excited. <laughs> Let me vent stuff here. <laughs> yep. I, I already knew mentally what I wanted to vent. So three off of the ball turret. Four... Five, oopsie, don't pick up the card. Five, that's all my power. Six, one heat, and then I have my small exhaust, let you clear one additional heat, it's off the railgun. Awesome. There you go. Yep. Yeah, Step I'm getting railgun again, for sure. Oh, right in the back. But uh, before that, let's find out what happens with these missiles. So I'll do an anti-missile action with my ball turret. Mm -hmm. I need fives to shoot them down. Minus one, I need fours, and I get one reroll. Right? We're hitting on fours, yes. Yep. Got eight, eight, eight okay. missiles here. Okay. Six. I'm going to take one of your dice. Hopefully it's lucky. Mm -hmm. We're rolling pretty good. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> so th three kills on five to on one, eight dice. One, one reroll. Woohoo! Four kills. Four kills on eight dice. All right. There you go. That's about expected. So I can't cry too it much. It is expected. Four missiles remain. Three, four. That's all right. The important part is that you're also not shooting the ball turret at my fast recon. I suppose, but if we're lucky here, we'll be able to. Uh, Draw a lucky crit on you. Two lucky crits. Let's find out. We'll do two on the uh, two on the rail gun. Pop, pop. And you are definitely in arc. You're in range. You're in bullseye. So I'm firing at uh, two plus your evade is one plus your evade. Your evade is two. So I'm threes. And then I'm in flank. So twos. Yep. Three dice awesome. on two. Here we go. So first one, blam. Second one, kablam. Third one, blah. Woohoo! All right. So knock off six that little crit. Head. <laughs> yep. Yeah, six more damage in TS, so leaving you with a measly three HP. No bulkhead. I want to point out he'd be dead now without a bulkhead. 
because we got four extra hull oh, yeah. for it. You'd be melted, like uh. Yep. Bottom like extra turn of staying power. Rebel scum that he is. Um. Hey, we're the good guys. And then what are you talking about. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, you're rebel scum. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and then we're ramming you, buddy. Oh, okay. It's uh. If I'm see going how it is. down with Ramu, you're going down with. A nameless wonder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I crash into you. We'll roll for uh, whatever. One, yeah, two, let's three. The collision. This is my lucky die. One, two, three, four. One hit. <laughs> I'm oh, actually God. not sure. I rolled mine on camera here. Chris can uh, see them. Yeah. That's why you should re-roll them. I, I <laughs> moved mine on camera and rolled two, 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 two. So, okay. Well, I'll I'll move them on camera and re-roll them. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Welcome to my life. It was uh, more shenanigans for sure. All right. So, <laughs> yep, we got. I hit you once. One you damage one. each way. <laughs> yep. That's okay. My off-camera roll was two crits. Because of course yep. it was. Hey man, you already got three crits in the game. You can't whine too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you deserve your fair share reposition. of them. I also got a reposition here, and the reposition, oh. very crucially, is going to be touching you and touching the ice cloud. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Use, use the ram to leapfrog into ice. Yeah. When I overlap the ice, I get a cool down. Right. Yep. So we do a cooldown on the rail gun, uh, I think. Actually, no, we'll do a cooldown on the ball turret. That'll be more helpful. And now right. we have uh, three evade, and we're hiding in the cloud, so it's hits on fives for yep. the remaining missiles. Four remaining missiles hit on five. Yeah. Three hits. Oh! Ouch. Six At total damage. Yep. At least they weren't crits. 13. I'll take it. It's good. I know. I know. All right. right. Well, well, hey. Uh, I get my beta beta lance now. Mm-hmm. All right. He's going to go... That anti-ship missile you tagged him with on the first yep. round... Yeah. Yeah. He's like got four no... dice, hit at two... He has no anti-missile weapons at all, and none of his friends yep. can help before this goes off. So his only choice here is to hide from it. I hope yep. it doesn't utterly obliterate him. But it also sticks a heat on me for every part that doesn't have heat. So, Which is everything. <laughs> well, at the moment, it's everything. Uh, I'll vent this. We're going to go... That's on beta. Don't, remember, don't forget to uh, reset his evade to three as well. For sure. So chassis Is move, that... we're going to do uh, rotate a little bit, short, All short. Right. Uh huh. Uh, we are range, a little bit over, a little bit over range too, but it's fine. It's well within the range for missiles. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put four light missiles on Romu here. Oof. And then we're going to run for the other debris field with everything we got. Wow. So burst drive going to be short. I'll double it. Rotate one like that. Short and double it. Mm -hmm. Getting an evade for the cloud. And I have two power left. I'll use one of them for an evade from my wings. So I'm sitting at five plus cover is sevens for the anti-ship missile. Ouch. Alright. Yeah. Let's see wow. if that works. Uh, yeah. I could, do, I could do one more evade, but I think I'll lose my cover by doing it, so... Get that lance yeah. way over there. Let me just see. It's four dice, right? Perfect. Four dice. Each hit does two damage, and I get a heat on every part that doesn't have heat if you score any hits. It's going to be scorching. So what we're looking for here is my turn to get three crits. If I get three crits here, you're cooked. Blam! Kablam! Blow! Kablamo! All right, no crits. <laughs> I don't even think any of those hit. Maybe the, uh, seven the seven's a hit. Right? The seven's right. a hit. So two damage. 
Ouch. And I'm going to get uh, a heat on the wings, the missile pod, or sorry, the wings and the burst drive and the eye. Uh, because mm. the cockpit is a passive ability only. It cannot collect heat cubes. Oh, that's good. Well, they would do nothing, right? They would just provide you the <laughs> ability to, uh, to stock mm -hmm. up on damage. But I would never, it would never stop me from using those parts. You can only put heat on things that actually use power and heat. Oh. All right. Well, well dodge, I mean, dodge that uh, literal bullet, giant bullet. Yeah, that could have been the end of you, pal. I mean, it still kind of is because you're so overheated. I don't think you'll be able to spin around and fire in the same turn. But pr probably, actually, maybe. With your eye, you'll still get range four. So, yeah, I'll, you might be able to do it. Let's find out. Yeah. What's the next round? Passive, passives don't work if you've got heat on them, though. So. Oh. You'll, uh, I'm guessing you're going to do the recon first. Yeah, it's a new round. Fast Recon is going to be squished like a bug if he doesn't take a turn. So, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, it should have been squished actually, like a bug last turn. Should have, would have, could have. So, Fast Recon, I think best bet with him is probably... Yeah, we definitely have to use him, because otherwise he's just going to die. Uh, let's do Clear 3 from the Shotgun. Clear 1 from the Maneuvering Fins. Clear one power from the cockpit. Mm. We're going to go... I think just long. And then a rotate. So I'll get an extra vent from the cloud. We're then going to use fins twice. A double rotate. Hmm. And now the question is, do I finish off Ramu while I can? Or do I punch Punchy back for punch his punchy. troublesomeness? The real question is, can the other two take down Punchy if all they have is rockets and all he has is a ball turret to shoot down every rocket with a reroll? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think the, the play here is... Um, you have no anti-missile with uh, Ramu next turn, because at the you'll, your Gatling gun's broken, right? So you'll have a turn where you can't mm -hmm. shoot it, um, and mm -hmm. you've got missiles chasing. So I think the correct play here is actually try and try and shoot the other guy. If I'm lucky, get through the bulkhead, and if I'm double lucky, get the turret too. Seems oh. super unlikely. It's if like I'm a double one lucky. in five. If it's like a one <laughs> in five chance to land it, but I also need to put some damage on him because he's doing quite well. Uh, yeah, and just he's getting through the crit protection okay. will help. He's, he's doing okay. You haven't rolled three crits against the other guy yet. I wouldn't say he's doing well. <laughs> he has more hull than all the other ships at the moment. Some of them combined. He's the big guy on the board. So I know. I, yeah, I think I think I got to go for him instead of splitting my uh, instead of trying to finish off the one ship. All right. Well. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's do it. So get that shotgun. In there tangling, so he's gonna roll six dice. Well, three dice rather, hitting on. Uh, I think I'm still getting flank, yeah? Yep. Yeah, he's still flank on Punchy for sure. So Punchy's three evade, I've got plus two plus, so hitting on fives, minus one for flank uh -huh. is fours. Two oh, hits, thank God. No crits. No crits, thank God. Put him to That's nine. Served crits all day. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's okay, I'll take nine. I got Anything one power left and Anything nothing to crits. do with it. So that's how it's gonna be. Uh-huh. He's done. Hmm. I think Ramu has to go first because we got a bit of a traffic jam. <laughs> a little bit. They're gonna run into each other. Uh, yeah, so what you're going to do Ramu first, Chris? I am, yeah. I'm trying to decide what he's going to be doing, but he's definitely going to mm. go first. Uh, I, see there's some, I see there's also some chat in the, uh, on the stream about 
What would I need to purchase to run my squad? Uh, it looks like Scott answered already in text, but I can show that I've actually built I've built some actual physical models here. Uh, when we pan back to your actions being complete, I'll show them off. I've got a I've got a custom lance that is these parts. Hold it up there. It's quite small. I don't know if Scott, do you have a full, uh -huh. full camera face shot in this setup? I don't think you do. But we've got got this custom lance. We can post some pictures of it later. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a fox cockpit. Yeah, it's got the fox cockpit mounted vertically on the front, and then I've sort of flipped the uh, put the saber wings on, and I've got some missiles, but not a ton of them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's a pretty fun little ship. I also have the fast recon built out of plastic. It's using the new wings. Uh, I also have some of my Snapships pieces. I have taken some of my miniatures paints too as well. So the Sabre cockpit on this one actually has gold trim and not silver trim. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is this is entirely Kickstarter stuff. I think with the exception of... I borrowed some pieces from a Gladius kit I have to make this sort of <laughs> dark gray tube here for the thruster. But this is otherwise totally buildable. Let's see, those parts are technically superfluous. You could stick the thruster mm -hmm. right in the middle. But yeah, like there you go. You can totally build this guy out of just the, the Kickstarter bits. It's a fun one. It's a little mm -hmm. bit different than the actual fa uh, fast recon model because I filled in the back hull a little bit, made it a little bit more of a disc shape. Mm -hmm. He did me proud, even if he's gonna get shot down. He did a ton of damage. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was worth he got it. Three three crits. With your shotgun yep. blast, so lucky, yep. lucky guy. Shotgun did its thing. Uh, Ramu is going to vent everything except for the wasp wing because he's got that kind of power economy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Next, when half uh, your ship is broken, you should have extra power floating around. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up, rotate one and move. We'll move to. Oopsies. We'll move to there. Hooray. Next up, send one to rotate this away. Boop. Next up, send one to bump my evade up one. Oops. There you go. Plus some evade. Cool. And then it might be a little silly. You might think. Uh, Actually, no, I can't. I can't afford to bump him up one of eight. He's just sitting at three of eight. Oh, well. You might think it's a, a little silly, but we're going to try powering up the stealth drive one last time. <laughs> well, so you're, you're not going to get more missiles, but these ones will still hit you. That's true. But we'll, uh, we'll be charged up at least. I don't think there's anywhere else I want to go. I think I got to spend this one evade. So there we go. You've been rolling hot all game. Maybe you miss at least three of them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're evade four, no cover. So I yep. would need to hit uh, two. The missiles do two each. So I need to land two of the four missiles to destroy them. And I hit, then hit them fours. Yep. Yeah. That is that is not great odds for you. Let's see how lucky you are. Yeah, but I mean, you've been rolling hot all night. This is my one moment. Nope, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> completely, oh, man. completely ridiculous. Okay. Jeez, Louise, well, that's my, like my, I don't know. Your my fear of having thing. to conquer the stealth drive is uh, is no more. <laughs> it's been conquered. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say that's conquered, all right? When you fly across the map and roll 10 crits and crit the whole ship, I don't think you can say you won. I think you can say the dice won. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a really good point. <laughs> I don't think Romu was conquered. He was just out, uh, out lucked this time. But oh well. I, uh, I have faith. So he's well, now it's uh, 3v1, although the fast recon's not long for this game. It's got two hull left. You're right. Well, let's see. What it's going to be very got? interesting if Punchy can take on the two missile ships in the end game because I think that that will be our end game. 
Well, that's the thing. If I can just bear to kill the fast recon, then it'll be an interesting game. But so far, that fast recon slipped away twice. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a little bit more Maybe maneuverable than you are, actually. I know. I also see that Scott has drawn an explosion on, on the uh, overlay in a pencil. Yeah. It's pretty cute, Scott. Kablamo. Oh, yeah, I can flip him over, too. All parts destroyed. Yeah, don't worry, folks. You get your own stealth drive. I promise it's worth it, even if you didn't see it in action. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't have, if I had gone with something that was a slower, longer range shooter uh, as my third ship, then I, honestly, I would absolutely have I, had serious grief I honestly with it. Think, I honestly think if you just don't roll as hot, it's a different scenario. But let's play it out anyways. You, it's your turn. <laughs> so come on. It is. It is. <laughs> Uh, well, the only thing my ships really do is slow roll and spam missiles, so they're going to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's do Alpha. He's got five cubes to clear. We'll Oops. clear four from the missile pod. Oops. That'll be his thing. Oh. Take a rotate. Move short there. Clear the last cube from the wings. Mm. It is range four to punchy. You can have four more light missiles. Four more missiles. Yeah, I noticed you didn't place any uh, any asteroids during setup as well. I'm curious about why you chose not to place any. Because I thought I'd be fine with the turret. And in my defense, I would have been fine with the turret. Again, I was rolling <laughs> eight dice. Putting, with putting eight a lot dice of... on fours, buddy. <laughs> yeah, putting a lot of uh, a lot on the turret, but yeah, you but, really are on one part, point. one part of sixteen. No, no, no! Look, two parts. All right, both of this whole guy was anti turret. <laughs> you want to start criticizing my list? We can criticize my list. <laughs> There's no problem with having one guy dedicated to anti missile because the other guy was going to be stealth, so he couldn't even be targeted by anti missile, and then he lost yep. four parts in the first round. So I don't think that's bad part design or bad ship building. It's no, not that it the ball turret is not. It's the, the railgun's just as good as the ball turret. Anyways, eight missiles on me. You got anything else except criticism? <laughs> no. All right. Well, are you all No, I'm being rude. It's a new round. It's a new, uh, uh, a new round. Beta's so got to do something yet. Oh, my bad. So, yeah, Punchy gets to go, and then Beta goes. Yep. All right. Yeah, you've got eight, eight missiles to deal with, and then I'll give you a few more. Oops, wrong direction. Rotate this way. Oops, rotate too much. Rotate that way. There we go. Uh, and I got a vent. Set to three vent stuff. Here we go. One, two. I think we're probably going to need uh, three. Four. Oopsies. Five. Uh, six. And then I get one extra heat vented for fun, which will do the railgun heat vent. I'm having a small exhaust. And yeah, now sure. we do the rotate and we do the move. Here's the first move. It's a log. So we fly on over there. Here's the second move. It's a spinorama. Heat one, heat two, so that he can move down to, I don't know where, I guess just the edge of the map maybe, but that's actually not very helpful still, because he'll be attacked by the missiles there, which is no good. Yeah, let's go straight ahead. So we go there, and we got to rotate U-turn, flip a roo. And then, uh, and then I think we just do the ball turret, start shooting down missiles because we're in a better place, but we can't do much for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was a repositioning round. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's, well, you're like fully allocated coming into it too, right? That's always tough. I know. 
it was uh, going to be hard. You, you were uh, fast week on how to die last round. That's what it was. It did. But it did. He survived the ram and the shooting. <laughs> yep. Uh, how many anti missiles do we have? Eight. There are eight eight missiles chasing you again. All right. This is when we roll hot. This is when we get get all eight shots. One, two, and three. You need four, fours five, on them, seven. right? Eight. I do. First one. Fours with a reroll. One, third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. Seventh one. Eighth one. All right. So, oops, that oh, was a five. Kill. Yeah, you kill four of them. <laughs> and reroll. And you re-roll. There we go. Kill five. I got, I got my one reroll. Kill five. Woo. That's an average roll, though. Not not rolling super hot. Okay, well, that's three of eight. Three missiles hit on threes, is that right? Yep, yeah. I got nowhere else to be. Uh, uh, three hits for six total. Yep. I caramba. This is just the inverse of last game. Except last game, you actually got some hot dice. I've just been getting slogged every time. Yeah. Yep. So... Oh well, new round. <laughs> Mark multiple cheap missile platforms. Get these missiles out. out of here. I don't even think yeah. multiple missiles is that good. I think if this guy doesn't go down in the first two seconds with both of his guns, <laughs> it's a different story. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you're totally right. You're totally right. Four, four crits. In uh, round I have to do beta before round four, so he's All he's right. just taking a turn off. He's got nothing useful to do. He's venting uh, he's going the torpedo to... hit him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His, his his entire ship is just all heat. Exactly. Um, I think he's basically just going there. And he's just going to take off four cubes. It's very, very unexciting. Make sure my missile pod has no heat on it. And that's his whole turn. Because he's got nothing yeah. else to do with all those cubes. Got to dig himself out of that hole. Yeah. All right, new round. All right, new round. Fast recon, put me out of my misery. Flies over with the shotgun. Uh, he will Three try. More hits. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely right. He had to die last turn. That was uh, no, you had to die the turn before that when he killed Ramu. Right, that's when he had to go. But that's all right. So let's go there and rotate after. We've clipped the cloud, so we'll get a power back. Uh, are we range one and arc? Yes, yep, and yep. we are. So I can shotgun from here uh, with rerolls. You are evade three. Three, so five. Uh, yep, hits on fives. Your big misses. Oh my god. Uh, get one. Get one crit. I'm gonna reroll with the cockpit too, just to see if we can finish it. The, co- the crit kills me. <laughs> Does it? You have a bulkhead. Yes, I've... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I have to land a second hit, and which I do. There you go. Because the crit oh, takes wow. the bulkhead and then four, four total hull. Damn. Yeah. I, I had hot wow. dice like crazy, and you couldn't catch a break with any of your anti-missile rolls. So, yeah, that was yep. that. Was that. that was... That was just and on, and honestly, I think I would have been totally fine even to I think it would have still been a really close game if we had in fact traded my fast recon for your your wasp. No, I agree exactly. It would have been at least an interesting fight instead of I roll over here and roll six six crit. Chris rolls against me and gets four four blank. <laughs> yeah, that was the the theme of the night. You can go back and count up the crits. I'm sure your crit count is like ten, and mine's maybe like four. Yeah, four on two of them were from the shotgun special effect, but yeah, that was that was oh, brutal. Yeah. yeah, shotgun needs rebalancing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll say this: I I mention this every time we we run streams, uh, but like, you know, all of these parts are still doing their their final play testing and balancing. Like we are still doing uh, a lot of kind of metagame mm-hmm. analysis and trying to tune everything to where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. Some strategies I definitely think are a little bit too good right now, and some are not good enough. But we'll we'll get there. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's I have an interesting that process Ramu... for 
for ships that are so highly configurable, right? Oh, yeah. It's like uh, deck building problems all over again. So making a CCD a or something like that. No, I was going to say, I think bit. Ramu is an interesting uh, ship, though, because I wanted to slap a stealth drive on a scarab, and I was like, there's not enough uh, parts for it. But I think in for this sure. situation, when you have the uh, stealth drive and the power cycle, when it doesn't get blown up in the first second, <laughs> yeah. it's actually an interesting uh, combo. And if I swap off the uh, Gatling gun and put on the Mantis laser, you can fire two Mantis laser rounds per turn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you shoot it and then you use power cycle and shoot it again. So your mantis exactly. laser costs two power, three heat to double to double tap. So he can either be cloaked or he can be uh uh whatever, double tapping the mantis laser. Mm -hmm. The downside, you as know, we discovered, is that there's no bulkhead, so when he gets critted, it's over. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. He's running all of this fancy power tech on top of the ship and then uh yeah. doesn't have anything left for protection. No hull the other one, no. though, the Wasp Heavy Fighter, I think is a really solid build. In some ways, it doesn't hit as hard as the actual preset for the Wasp Heavy Fighter, but in some ways, I think the, it may actually be a better build. The ball turret railgun guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because railgun is actually, an, uh, it combos really well with his chassis ability, and it's cheaper oh, than yeah. the HE cannon. Yep. Um, I think railgun it's is more accurate than, than, than either of the other guns he comes with. 100%. And what else is handy is that... Um, he was born to be a anti-missile fighter, and even though he didn't do an amazing job this time, it was a, it was uh, odds were against him for one thing. But yeah. uh, but getting the free reroll and then getting minus one on the railgun, like you could probably make an argument to swap out the ball chart for something else. But I think the railgun is really strong on this guy. Oh, for sure, for sure. and it's super cheap. Yeah, like you were you were nearly getting guaranteed hits on me with the railgun. Which is yeah, exactly. Amazing, if amazing you use, power economy. If you use the wasp cockpit and you use the uh, passive, yeah, exactly. And then with oh, the sweet. small exhaust, you'll, you'll be able to afford it. But yeah. So today was not the day for the stealth drive uh, shenanigans. Perhaps we will see better stealth driving on a future build. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll just play again. That's it. I won the first one, but you not won tonight. The second one, not tonight. Yeah, no. we we're, we need a tiebreaker game. That's right. We need a we need a grand slam throwdown, forge v forge. <laughs> Your forge list yeah. versus my forge list. Yeah, well, you won last time with forge, so I did, and my thing was shotgun shenanigans. I flew my uh, saber over there, and I shotgunned you right in the face. Or no, I had a lance with the shotgun, but yeah. Yep. Yep. But having Anyways, that one forge games. ship just in the mix. <laughs> exactly all righty thanks exactly. for watching everybody you'll see Thank us again you. soon i'm Have sure a good game good night <laughs>